in today's episode, we're going to be talking about trolls and pros and how they can actually cause developers to realize the mistakes that they have made. And uh, yeah, Pathfinder mains rejoice. It does look like the developers have been listening and you will be getting some form of buff in the near future. But let's get into it. Now, as alluded to in the beginning statements there, it does seem like we actually are going to get some buffs to Pathfinder in the future. And I really want to go over some of the changes that I really think could work. And I've even suggested some changes myself that I did feel like would be a great idea. And I did get retweeted and a like for my ideas as well. So Pathfinder could be getting some pretty substantial changes. And I really hope he is because he was one of my more favorable legends to play, even with the low profile debuff, making him a bit easier to kill. However, if you like the channel, how about liking this video? And then if you're new, smash down that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so that you can get alerted anytime that I drop a new video. And don't forget about PwnHub.Live where you can find every video I post and pretty much stay in contact as well as submit videos and other things whenever you want but today i've actually got a bit of an uncut gameplay here on king's canyon where i'm going for a w with the gold devo which is probably the most overpowered thing and i can't remember if i've used this one or not but if i have oh well it's still a legendary gameplay in its own right but it would appear that we did get a troll who did some great work on a post that you know I showed earlier and that post got some attention by the community in general but also got the attention of the producer at Apex himself and he tweeted out saying that Pathfinder will be getting some love soon now soon I hope actually means in the ranked split which is typically when we'll be getting some of the bigger actual game changes um this is when we saw Evo Shields actually get added to the game and things like that. So it's been a pretty substantial time in the middle of a season for them to do some various alterations and things like that. But for me, I've been saying for a period of time now that Pathfinder could use two charges of his current grapple. Now that would mean a 70 second total cooldown to get both your grapples out at this, you know, again, one after another. But it would allow you to have an entrance and an exit grapple instead of having to really decide what you're going to do with your one grapple hook that you're going to get in any given situation. Which, don't get me wrong, it does make Pathfinder a little bit more friendly for the newer player, but it really also makes it a little bit easier for every player to enjoy the character because having to actually really choose when you use your abilities is substantial now obviously in the post that we actually saw he came up with some pretty good ideas in his own right there saying that the grapple will be reduced to 25 seconds which is like in a median area <clears throat> and low profile would be removed because pathfinder really doesn't need low profile anymore he isn't that hard to hit anymore um sure in some of the skins like actually hitting him in the head when the skin is working properly and the hitbox is working properly is kind of rough but at the same time he's not the same pathfinder from season two so i think they could actually take some time and do some stuff for pathfinder to make him a little bit better and <clears throat> he goes on to say in a secondary tweet that also the entire team will get a reduced cooldown on your ultimate, not just Pathfinder, which is clearly overpowered, and I don't think that'll ever get added to the game. But I do think that his passive ability needs to be worked on in general. I think that him just having the beacon, which everyone in the recon class can now use, seems a bit lackluster, and it doesn't even seem like an ability. It seems like he's being kind of given the shaft and missing an ability completely but still in its own right it's it's 
an awesome idea that he can get a grapple hook out that much, well, or a zip line out that much faster because it is beautifully helpful for your team to have the zip line in so many different situations. And I think potentially with these new gravity lifts being added to the game, there could be some substantial changes to Pathfinder, and those will actually amplify Pathfinder's overall capabilities in game. But I would love to hear what the Floop Troop has to say about this. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think would be an awesome buff for, buff for Pathfinder. What are you hoping he gets? And are you uh, one of the few people that's actually against Pathfinder getting a buff? If so, drop a comment down below. Now, this is actually a pretty awesome gameplay, so I'm going to let it ride out to the end. And you guys can let me know if you enjoyed the gameplay later on as well. But make sure that you check out some of the social media links. Give a follow, give a like, a favorite, whatever the platform uses as their lingo and help the channel and branding grow because it would be an awesome favor to me directly from you and I would appreciate it. As well as I'm trying to get my uh, stomach to feel a little bit less queasy right now so I can go live on Twitch tonight and have something to show you guys You know, as we uh, get closer to the ranked split and more upcoming potential changes as well as some huge crossplay news coming very soon you can almost smell it in the air yeah there's some there's actually some really wicked crossplay news that's got to be talked about sometime soon as well so i will have a video out about that very soon but yeah guys enjoy the rest of this video thanks for watching thanks for liking thanks for subscribing and as always stay safe stay healthy and have a good one. Round two. Beginning. Hostile. A shooter. Next ring's not very close. Need to recharge my shields. Marking our surroundings. Reloading. Marking our surroundings. Throw my grenade out. Frag out. are open though. Thanks. The ring's closing in one. We're not very close. Recharging my shields. Far ring, 45 left. There's a thin line between life and death. You'll find me there. We're close to the ring. 30 seconds left. Ten seconds. The ring's close. Package coming in. Scanning the area. 
Hostile right here. I'm taking fire. Round three. Beginning. One minute, ring's not far. Taking a moment to recharge my shields. Less than one. Follow the tunnel. Portal placed. Target spotted. We are inside the ring. Care package being delivered. One. Nice work. Taking a moment to recharge my shields. The ring is closed. Time grace is up. Less than one minute. Maybe something good this way. Two enemy squads live. Vitaka victory at Slatra.